Hi everyone, I'm Channel 2's Chris Hernandez. We are at 16th and Wyandotte, right across the corner from the Kaufman Performing Arts Center. This is the site of a proposed new hotel. This is a deal that is years in the making, and it would build a convention hotel to attract bigger conventions, while at the same time minimizing any financial risk to the city's budget. Today we're celebrating and announcing that through a public-private partnership, we're ready to move forward on an 800-room Hyatt Hotel Convention Center Hotel uh, right across the street. And I'm telling the world uh, that they can bring their meetings and conventions here, sports tournaments, a uh, desire to be in the heart of the new American Renaissance. Kansas City has really pulled its chair up to the table of great cities. And we are a place that people look at as a destination and place where people can come to do things, enjoy our arts, our culture, our scene. And it is important that when they get here that they find us accommodating. But I've been pretty adamant since day one, at least since I've been in office, that although we need a new downtown hotel, I couldn't and wouldn't sign off on just any deal. Uh, the parameters that I set out personally were both clear and consistent that we could not and would not take any funds from the general fund, uh, which is how we pay for things like public safety, infrastructure, street maintenance, et cetera. We would not take any funds from the general fund to subsidize the hotel. Uh, we would not put the general fund on the hook to pay for any cost overruns or long-term debt. And in this deal, we're not doing any of those things. Our persistent patience, I believe, has paid off. This is the right development. This is the right agreement. This is the right location. This is the right hotel and the right hotel operator. And it's certainly the right time for this project. Thanks to Streetcar, which starts rolling next year, this hotel will also be able to take people from here to other areas downtown, the River Market area, Union Station, Crown Center, and the thriving Arts and Innovation Center in the Crossroads. So not just for the heart of downtown, but also for the close-in areas and beyond, uh, this new Hyatt Hotel will be a rising tide uh, that will lift all the boats in this, this area. This is a major piece to the downtown puzzle. It's been long awaited for, and we're excited to go out and sell it. This levels the playing field with our primary competition as we go after larger size convention groups. Our sales word for today, game on. The developers propose an 800 room hotel costing $300 million to build. The city's investment would be fixed at $35 million and would not be tied to the hotel's performance. But we were effectively able to just basically use the money that would be otherwise being spent on debt service for Kemper Arena will be rolled into this convention project. And the way the funding source is set up is it can't be used for building demolition or code enforcement or police and fire services. It has to be used for convention and tourism activities. So it worked out well. Uh, and so the taxpayers' are, uh, uh, exposure is limited to $35 million and the rest of the project is on the private sector's uh, dime and expense. City funding would come from existing convention and tourism taxes paid predominantly by out-of-town visitors. The $2 million annual payment over 25 years would use funds that had been paying off the Kemper Arena bonds, which will be paid in full this year. Uh, if, they, uh, if it really performs, then we have a right to share in the, the benefit to the tune of our investment of about 13%. But if it underperforms, which is big, the city's historical concern, uh, we don't have any exposure beyond our $2 million a year that will service the $35 million in bonds. So uh, from a citizen, from a budget standpoint, from a taxpayer standpoint, it's about as good of a deal as you're ever going to get. The hotel will fly the Hyatt flag, and it's across the corner from the Kaufman Center for the Performing Arts. It will become yet another link between the downtown core and the Crossroads Arts District. It will be, in, in my uh, opinion, the best site for a new hotel in all of Kansas City. The development team is led by local civic leader and attorney Mike Burke. He has teamed up with hotel finance expert Bob Swerdling as well as private investors. This will enable Kansas City to attract conventions that we haven't been able to attract for many, many years. In 1976, I remember distinctly, we were fifth in the nation in convention visitors. 
we can be that again. Is that first of all, it's really a, a very gratifying to see so many interested people here today for this announcement. Uh, that indicates to me right off the bat that we have done something in which a lot of people have a rooting interest because we know it's all done. And there will be those who are critics and that's fine. They're, if we're not having somebody be a critic, then we're not doing anything and so that's all good. But the one thing that I want to make sure that people understand is, is that as long as I have the ability to work with Troy Schulte and a good council, we will continue to try to do those things in this city, downtown and elsewhere, that benefit the lives of the people in the city, create jobs, and spread economic prosperity. Last week it was Linwood Shopping Center. Today it's downtown Kansas City. In a few weeks it's going to be someplace else, and I assure you of that. So keep believing in us, and like I always like to tell people, now, if you can't love Kansas City now, I don't know when the heck you ever will. Thank you very much.